Right, good morning everyone. Welcome back to GD and Sun channel. I hope everyone's having a great day. So we're back, baby. Uh, we haven't been posting anything in the last sort of five or six days, mainly because of the snow. Haven't been able to arrange childcare and things like that. My wife's been going to work. Kids have all been homeschooling. So yeah, it's been a bit of a, been a, bit of a tough week, really. We've got to do a little bit here and there in the evenings, just picking up a couple of items. But because of the ice around, it just made going out and picking up scrap metal very very hard so anyway we've had a bit of rain last night most of the snow is gone all the ice on the roads is now clear so we are back with a vengeance and i just want to quickly start this video with a few thank yous the first one being to you subscribers because i was going to do a video when i got to a thousand subscribers and do like a, a big thank you and obviously the snow was here so i couldn't make the video that i wanted to make and within a few days i had 2000 subscribers i mean i generally couldn't believe it at one point i was getting like three 300 and 400 subscribers per day so a massive thank you to you guys and girls that have been hitting that subscribe button because you've made this channel what it is right now so i really appreciate you all and the second thank you is to a very nice person i'm not going to mention their name because they've been asked to they thought well they've asked me to remain anonymous and i'm going to respect that but they left me a nice donation on my paypal link so i would never ask for donations at the end of the day you know if I, I put the link there in case anyone wants to donate but i will never never ask for it it's not something that i'll do on this channel but they left me uh, a little note in my paypal account along with a 10 pound donation uh, they've obviously heard me talking about a wire stripper before and they left me a nice note saying you know i hope this gets you a little bit closer to your wire stripper so i just want to say to whoever you are thank you very much for that donation it's much appreciated it's going into my wire stripping fund and i should put that into good use so anyway we're back out i'm gonna go and do a little bit of looking around i mean i'm out a bit late i'm gonna go pick my nephew up in about 15 minutes but we've got some well we've got a waste removal job on this morning first thing and then I want to go home and I want to get all my rubbish cleared because obviously the bin men ain't been coming out neither. So I've got stacks upon stacks of rubbish at my house to get rid of. Plus I've got some rubbish at my mum's house to get rid of. You know, plus I've got this lady's rubbish to get rid of that I'm picking up today. So yeah, we're going to be full up with rubbish. So we're going to take that down to the uh, recycling centre. We're going to get rid of it. And um, yeah, we're just going to hopefully have some fun along the way. So first point is going to be the scrapyard because Although I don't have a massive load on, I do have a few little items. I mainly picked them up over the weekend, so Saturday and Sunday, the ice wasn't that bad. They were still patchy in places, but I managed to get out and um, do a few collections and stuff like that. So it isn't a massive amount, maybe 200, 300 kilo if I'm lucky. But anyway, I need to get rid of it so I've got space on the van for the other stuff. So let's go and pick up my nephew and let's head down to the scrapyard. So I'll see you all in a bit. So I couldn't get any uh, footage in here unfortunately because it was quite busy it's calmed down a bit now but we had queues of vans trying to get in so I just thought get in and uh, get unloaded as quick as possible so just waiting to get on the bridge now they're just weighing up another lorry he's taking out some stuff from the, their yard so they're just weighing out the container what it's in so they know what they're sending out and then as soon as they're ready we'll jump on that bridge and we'll get going so first point of call is going to be straight to me uh, mum's house we're going to get the rubbish from there we're going to shoot around to my house get the rubbish from my house and then we're going to go and do the job because we're going to be there a little bit early if we went to the job straight away it's not till 10 o'clock so we'll check back with you in a minute and i'll show you the prices 
Right, so we've just finished in the scrapyard and prices look like they're still doing all right. I mean, it's dropped down by a tenner from what it was when it was at its highest. I mean, uh, well, I say it's been at 180 a tonne at one point, but that was only for a, a short period of time. It's now 160 a tonne, which to me is still a very good price per tonne of metal. I mean, as I say, when I very first started, 95 quid a tonne, so you can see how much it's gone up by. So hopefully it'll stay around that sort of figure and it won't go any lower than that. But yeah, we had a little bit more on there than I actually thought. I said maximum probably 300 if I was lucky. So I actually had 380 kg at a rate of 160 a tonne, worked out to be 60 pounds and 80 pence. So quite happy with that, you know, it wasn't a massive load. It was just a bit of old junk really that I found lying around my area, you know, on the days I've managed to get out for, you know, 30, 40 minutes a time because of the snow, just finding little bits of junk, picking them up, 60 quid. So, you know, it's a good start to the Monday. So we've also got the waste removal job that we're gonna go and do. And um, we've got plenty of non ferrous stuff, which we're gonna take down hopefully towards the end of the week. So yeah, I'm quite happy with that to start the day off. So right, head into my mum's house now and we'll go and get the rubbish from there. Right, so a quick change of plans. We're not gonna be able to get the rubbish out of my mum's garage because there's a car that's parked right in front of it. So we're going to leave a note on there and say, you know, please don't park in front of the garages because we need access to it. Uh, but there's not really much we can do at the minute. I don't know whose car it is. It's not one that I've recognised before. So we're just going to go straight round to my house now and grab my rubbish and then we're going to get the job done. So, yeah, a bit gutted about it really because I have got some aluminium that's buried at the back of the garage, a big tub of it. And obviously we're going to be doing a non-ferrous run towards the end of the week. So I did want to get it out and you know make sure it's all cleaned up well i know it's all cleaned up in there but um just wanted to get it out really and have a look at it and see how much we had but it is what it is you know these things happen so anyway onwards and upwards to our house let's go get some rubbish right so i just wanted to find out what kind of wizard i would be if i ever went to hogwarts so gryffindor <laughs> right so we're all loaded up ready to go going to head down a tip. I couldn't film in there because um, we had to go inside her house to go and get the rubbish and um, she had some young children in there as well so definitely don't want to be filming a room with young children around so got big bad bill here though, done all the work, all the heavy lifting. Right my son, let's get down that tip then shall we? Get it all unloaded, see how much it comes to and then we can head home for the day. No, it's hard work by end. Yeah, please. Tell you what, Bill, I'll keep your old finger in, Steve. I'll just chuck the rest of the scrap metal. Yeah. yeah. Tip it off while you're there, yeah.
Yeah, I'll show you the rest of it. Nice one, cheers mate. Yeah, we'll chuck that dog crate on the middle of this. That's it. Right, let's go and see what it comes to. Right, so we've just finished in the transfer station and yeah, we made probably out of the waste itself about 100 quid. So bear in mind, some of, a lot of that waste as well, or half of that waste came from my house. It's, uh, you know, things like rabbit um, waste and things like that, uh, sawdust, old household bits of waste and stuff. So we really did price that job well. I can't stress enough making sure you ask for photographs and, you know, keeping on top of you know the items that are actually going because you can always get stunned by that she did actually add a few things on she did ask me if i'll charge any more but i could see from what was going it wasn't going to be that much so i didn't bother charging her any extra it also leaves her with a good thought about the company i handed some leaflets another little tip for you always make sure you hand a couple of leaflets out at the end of the day because um, when you finish that job the neighbors might ask who she had the work done by if she can't remember for some reason she might just say, I don't know, I can't remember what the company was called. But if she's got a couple of leaflets to hand, she might hand them out for you. So it's always worth doing that. Plus we give her another one for the pressure washing as well. Something she might be looking for in the future. And she had a driveway, block paving driveway and some patio at the back. So it's always worth, you know, telling them about your other services. So yeah, 100 pound roughly out of um, today. Well, about 110 pounds, should I say, out of uh, the waste. And we also, made 60 pound in scrap metal so about 150 quid for the day i'm happy with that i'm so i'm gonna go home now catch up on a few things emails stuff like that have a bit of lunch and i might even try and get back out this afternoon or this evening if not we'll get back out again tomorrow for a lovely session of scrap metal so if you did like the video please smash the like button subscribe to the channel if you're not already subscribed and uh leave us a comment say hey and i will see you all on the next video so take care